Today's video is going to be me doing a visualization meditation brain exercise. If you have seen my last YouTube videos, I promised that this was the next one coming. You should be completely up to date as to what brain retraining looks like, the exact exercises to implement, and why it's important to do brain retraining. But I thought it would be important for you to actually see me do my own visualization just in case you still had any lingering questions or concerns. Now feel free to close your eyes and visualize this with me because it's been proven that that too will retrain your brain. Just like visualization meditations that you listen to also help you. They help regulate your nervous system and they help regulate your brain patterns. So feel free to go ahead and do this with me. So we're going to take a deep breath in. Release all negativity and feelings of pain, anything that is stressing us out. Release it. Another deep breath in. Release all the negativity. And now we're going to picture someone that makes us feel safe something that makes us feel safe, whether it's a parent, a dog, a grandparent, a friend. We're going to picture that person giving us a hug right now, keeping us safe while we do this visualization. And as I step into my past, it is Christmas Eve. Christmas is my favorite holiday in the world, and I am so excited for tonight. We're going to have my family over for dinner, all my uncles, aunts, my grandparents. Everyone is going to be together and we're hosting it at our home. And I'm just so excited. I'm waking up. It's Christmas Eve and I just feel so much joy and excitement. It's raining outside and I can hear the rain trickling on the roof. The comforter that lays on top of me is so soft and so warm. My pillow supports my head and makes me feel supported. I feel so calm. I feel so much joy for what lies ahead. And I just feel so happy listening to this rain. And I look outside my window and I can see the Christmas lights that my dad and I hung up on the roof together. These bright yellows and greens, all sorts of colors, blues, purples. They're so beautiful that they illuminate the world. And I take my sheets off of me. I get up, I go over to my record player and I play my favorite. I play Frank Sinatra's Christmas album, and the first song that comes on is his version of Jingle Bells, and it just brings me the biggest smile. I'm smiling so big, and I've got my candy cane pajamas on that are just so comfy and warm. I have my fleece slippers on. I just feel so comforted, so happy, and so full of joy. And then my sister knocks on my door and she says, hey, hey, I'm so excited. And I said, me too, me too. And she gives me a big hug and she's like, hey, let's watch our favorite movie. Let's watch Grumpy Old Men. Let's be lazy for a few hours before we get ready for the day. <laughs> and I love that idea. Grumpy Old Men is just so nostalgic and makes me think of so many amazing memories and times in my life. And so I'm in. First, I say, hey, I'm going to go downstairs and fix us a really nice warm cup of tea. And so I make my way downstairs and my body feels so fluid and light and it just feels so good. And I walk to the kitchen and I put the tea kettle on and get some hot water going. And I just love, love, love the sound of when the tea's ready. It makes that whistling sound. It reminds me of my grandma's house. And there's a fireplace going on in the background. I love watching the yellow, orange, and red flames flickering. 
I love the sound of the crackling fire. I love the rain. I love the Christmas lights. Our house is full of so many beautiful Christmas decorations. Ones from all over the world that remind me of my family and I's beautiful travels together. And all of a sudden, the tea kettle starts whistling. I have the biggest smile on my face. I just love, love that sound. And I go and grab these two really fun Disneyland mugs. They happen to be Christmas mugs, of course. And I put in the hot water and then I bring over the honey and the cinnamon tea bag. Cinnamon tea is our favorite, especially around Christmas time. And I start steeping the tea bags. I grab a a spoonful of honey and mix it in. And it's ready to go. And as I start walking past the fire, I look over and I see this Christmas photo from us from last year, the whole family, my grandpa, grandma, parents, cousins, and it just brings the biggest smile on my face because I know we're about to experience the same thing in a few hours. But first, grumpy old men. And so I make my way upstairs, my body feeling so good, calm, fluid. I just feel so energized, like I could run miles. But no, instead, I'm getting in bed with my sister. We're going to sip on our cinnamon tea and watch our favorite Christmas movie. And we put it on. We put on Grumpy Old Men. And we're just laughing, laughing, laughing. Taking sips of our cinnamon tea. The taste of cinnamon. Oh my gosh, it tastes so amazing. And the sweet honey along with it. It's just the perfect pair. (laughs) And I love watching all these funny scenes. We're cracking up. I have this beautiful fleece blanket on top of me keeping me so warm. I just love this moment so much. And then a few minutes later, my dad comes rolling in and he's like, hey, what are you guys doing? Joking around with us like he always does. And he plops himself on the bed and we all just start laughing together at the different scenes. (laughs) We're just having the best time together. We're having so much fun. My dad's like, hey, you guys mind pausing the movie? Let's make some glug together. Glug is this mulled wine tradition that we always make and We're like, you know what? Yeah, we can always come back. Let's make it. It's only going to take 15 minutes. And so we're all excited and jumping for joy. And we get up out of bed and get our slippers on. And we walk downstairs past that beautiful fire. And I say, you know what, Dad? We got to put on some good music. And he's like, yes, we absolutely do. So I go grab my Frank Sinatra album, bring it downstairs, and start playing that Christmas music for everyone. And we're all singing along and smiling and we're getting out the ingredients and it's oranges and then it's cinnamon sticks, cloves, cardamom seed, red wine, whiskey. I just love all of these scents, all of these flavors. And we all have our own little jobs. I'm kind of peeling the oranges and slicing them up and My sister's taking the cardamom scenes apart, and my dad's going to get the almonds to blanch. We all have our part, but we're all just singing loud to the music, and we're just so happy. My dad puts the flame on, and we get a big pot, and we put in all the ingredients together, pour over the wine, pour over the whiskey, light it on fire, And then we caramelize the sugar into it, and we put the lid on, and we all give each other a high five. And we're so excited because we know that we get to taste that tonight. And then my mom walks in the door. She just got back from running errands, and she walks in, and she's like, you guys must have made the glug. I smell it. And we all start laughing. We're like, yep, how did you know? (laughs) She comes over, and... In this moment, I just, I feel so safe with my loved ones. I feel so happy and joyous, and I feel so excited for tonight. I just take this moment and close my eyes, 
And I'm just full of so much gratitude for my health, my happiness, my family, for everything that I have, for these beautiful Christmas lights, for this beautiful fire, this beautiful family tradition that I just got to experience. I'm so lucky. I'm so grateful for how good I feel. I am full of health, happiness, and joy. Take a deep breath in, hold it, and breathe out. All right, so if you did that with me, you might feel what I'm feeling right now, which is calm, joyous, and serene. And if you don't feel that way, that's okay. That's okay. This does take practice, and some people feel and see the benefits within one time. Some people see it within a couple of weeks, doing it every day. Some people takes a few months. But either way, the most beautiful thing is no matter what, every single time you implement this, you are retraining your brain and you are one step closer to healing. So I invite you to implement this visualization meditation into the steps that I provided in my last week's YouTube video and do this every single day. If you are suffering from chronic pain, illness, autoimmune issues, anxiety, the list goes on and on, I promise you this is going to make such a big difference. People have healed from chronic illness altogether and I don't say that lightly because I've experienced this firsthand myself. If you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hug that subscribe button if you want more like this and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss when my next week's video is and I will see you guys in the next one.